Before learning anything about this entity framework code, we must set up our laptop or machine. To download the .NET code, you can visit this website .NET.Microsoft.com. At this page, you will find this button to download this .NET code framework. Let's click on this one and you will see that there are two options. One is this .NET 9 and second one is this .NET 8.0. This .NET 9 is the latest version and it is the standard term support. But you can use this entity framework code 9 with .NET 8 also. So if you are working with .NET 8 and you want to work with the entity framework code 9, then you can also do that. So all you have to do is click on this download .NET SDK button. Based on your system, you can download it for your Linux, Windows and the Mac. Once you download this .NET Core SDK in your system, you have to install it by just clicking on that next next button. Once the .NET Core is installed, then you can verify it by using a command. Open any terminal window and on that terminal window, you can simply say .NET test test version. Here you can see that we are having this 9.0. If you are getting any error at this place, it means there is some problem in the installation. And this is the only SDK that we need to work with the .NET Core applications. Now we have to work with a database and we need some editor also. For editor, you can use any editor of your choice. But my preference is if you are working with the .NET Core, then you can use either Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code or Rider. In this entire series, we will be using a couple of databases. We will be using SQL Server. We will also be using the Postgres database. The simplest step is that you can use their hosted version. Another step is that you can install these databases directly in your system. Third approach is that you can use the Docker desktop and you can use the images of these databases and you can run them as a container and you can connect your .NET Core application to those containers immediately. In the next video, we will learn how to create the ASP.NET Core application and how to install a database on Docker.